Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage, yada, 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 mostly useless. Let's get into this. Another thing that needs addressing is the state of this coolant overflow tank. It is quite filthy. Whatever remnants of coolant that have dried up in there has left it quite disgusting. So I have an idea on how to clean this and I didn't come up with this method or anything, but let's give it a shot. So first thing we need is some oil dry or kitty litter or something. Next, we're gonna put in a little bit of warm water. Finally, we have some lemon scented bleach. Okay, let's do some shaking. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Woo -hoo. Don't know if you can see in here, it's already looking really, really grimy, brown. This liquid is just really working its way into all the crevices. Trying to hit it from different angles here. You can still see that there's a line of gunk in the inside of this, so let's just keep shaking. This is my favorite bucket. We've been through a lot of good times together. Lots of gardening, a little bit of fireworks. All right, now that we've sufficiently shaken up this mixture inside here, let's pop this guy off here, see what comes out. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down from a garden hose. I'll be right back. And the last step of this exercise is to clean out the outside of the bottle. So what we're gonna do is just get some water in a bucket here, splash in some more of my favorite lemon scented bleach. A little bit for good measure, mm, just a little bit more. There we go. Now we have to use Dawn Ultra liquid dishwashing detergent. Also very important, has to be Dawn. Dawn, if you're seeing this, please sponsor me. Please, I'm begging you. Now with our handy Scotch-Brite pad, let's give this thing a wash. Okay, it's already getting much, much cleaner, but I think what I'm gonna do is let this thing soak for a couple hours. So some of these deep stains here, especially along the seams, are really hard to get to. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how this goes. So this is our finished product. It's much cleaner than it was when we started, but there's still a lot of imperfections here. I noticed that there's still some black bits I can't get off, uh, stains on the outside. The seams along here on the plastic, I even tried to use my brother's old toothbrush and that wouldn't get this uh, stain out. And uh, on the inside, you'll notice that there's still brownish dark yellow staining uh, right in and around the, uh, between the low and full. Pretty bad on this side. Overall, I'd say any self-respecting car detailing person would find this absolutely unacceptable. It's a good thing that I'm neither self-respecting or a car detailing person. So let's go ahead and put this on the car. The irony is not lost on me that we spent the time to clean this guy up, but this one looks terrible. We'll have to do something about that in the future. Okay, this was a really quick one on cleaning that coolant overflow reservoir. This isn't Miata specific, so if you have a bottle that's all grimy on the inside, this is a way to clean that out. So what do you think? Do you have a better way of cleaning these things? I'd love to hear it. Please leave a comment. That'll do it from the Mostly Useless Garage. Take care of yourselves and the ones that you love. You keep being awesome. I'll keep being useless. Thank you so much for watching.